There are many benefits that life plants may provide in your tank, like for example oxygenating and cleaning your water, providing much healthier ecosystem in your aquarium, and also providing cover for fish. Hornwort is without any doubt one of the easiest plants to keep in the aquarium hobby, and although many aquarists consider hornwort as a pest plant, there are definitely several advantages you can gain by keeping this plant. I keep this plant in majority of my aquariums for several reasons. First of all, I'm breeding life-bearing fish that usually hunt down their babies, and plants like hornwort provide perfect cover for them. It's also helping to remove ammonia from my water that's toxic for fish and provide much healthier ecosystem in the aquarium. Last but not least, hornwort is super easy to keep plant and you literally have to make an effort to kill it. If you're a beginner in the aquarium hobby, definitely consider trying this plant in your aquariums. As far as water parameters go, it can literally accept any type of water temperature and parameters, and as I mentioned earlier, it's definitely one of the hardiest plants in a hobby. That's also one of the reasons why from North America it's spread it to all continents in the wild, except Antarctica. Another great benefit is that it can grow both planted into the substrate and floating. I usually leave it floating as my top water plant and use other mosses or stem plants at the bottom. Whether you'll plant it into any kind of substrate or just leave it floating, it will do just fine. As far as light requirements go, it can literally accept any kind of lighting you have in your aquarium, however, with high amount of light it tends to grow a lot of algae, from my experiences it's especially hair algae. And here we move to some disadvantages of this plant. First is definitely an algae issue that appears a lot on this plant, however it's super easy to remove. Simply cut off any part of the plant that's covered by algae and remove it from the aquarium. Its fast growth will secure that the plant will soon recover and with proper cycle tank and appropriate lighting, over time you'll get rid of this issue. Another issue is that it tends to hold a lot of dirt. Now if you're having a pond, it may actually be great benefit as it will help you clean your water and some people even use hornwort for filtration of their water and large filters letting the water flow through this plant as it literally works like filtration media. Disadvantage may be if you're trying to have a lovely looking tank and it simply is not very visually pleasing. Once again, depending what you're aiming for, this may be both advantage and disadvantage for you. Propagation of this plant is absolutely simple. All you need to do is take small trimmings of the mother plant and either plant them directly into the new aquarium or just let it float like I tend to do. Very soon, because of high growth rate, you'll have major plant in your aquarium and if you're not trimming this plant regularly, it can literally take over. I got small trimming like one of these couple of months ago and now my aquariums are full of it. I trim quite a bit off on a weekly basis to keep the plant under control as I want it to be. Now be very careful when getting plant like this from another aquarist, as in majority of cases it will have small hitchhikers, pest snails that you may not want in your aquarium. Be also careful about the eggs of these snails, as once you'll introduce them into your aquarium, you'll be very hardly getting rid of them. I'm one of those that really enjoy snails in my aquariums, as for me they work as an amazing cleaning crew and therefore every time I'm giving hornwort to somebody, I warn them about possibility of introducing snails into their aquarium. I really enjoy having hornwort in my aquariums, as it really provides me many benefits that I need. If you're beginning with planted aquariums and you think that you kill literally any type of life plant, give hornwort a shot. Unlike duckweed, in case that you won't be satisfied with this plant, you can always easily remove it without any problem.